The Trump administration has canceled a $417,000 federal grant that would have funded research on the social and economic impacts of biogas production from the industrialized swine operations in North Carolina. Over several years, scientists from the RTI International in Durham and Gillings School of Public Health at the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill had planned to continuously monitor the air and periodically sample rivers, streams, and private drinking water in Duplin and Sampson counties. The study would also have collected health data on those communities. Duplin and Sampson rank first and second in the nation, respectively, in the number of swine farms, according to University of Michigan study. They account for 4.2 million hogs on roughly 900 farms. Yeah. Tracks near these concentrated animal feeding operations are predominantly Black, Indigenous, or Latino. The research is important because swine gas operations are proliferating in North Carolina, yet there is scant data on the environmental and health effects near these facilities, according to the RTI and UNC scientists. The community research conducted in Dublin and Sampson counties on the biogas production project were sponsored by the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency and the National Institutes of environmental and health sciences. The biogas study was one of at least 1,700 projects that lost funding earlier this year after the Trump administration terminated $783 million in grants at the NIEHS parent agency, which is the National Institute of Environmental and Health Sciences. In 2018, swine manure admitted 970,000 tons of methane nationally. Federal data show second only to dairy, but they're capturing it, right? Well, I think methane is the most natural thing in the world, right? It's completely normal. Grass and producing methane. That's how the world functions, that's, right? That's the right, that's natural. What are you worried about? Major pork producers tout biogas as a solution to the industry's methane problem. 